Welcome to One Field Report, the Extreme Edition. Hey, I'm Eric, and one thing that I have created numerous times over the last decades are, you know, like almost a single use report that runs through some specific data and manipulates something. It could be like a like we want to update all the cost prices on our resources or we want to reformat the postal code on customers or anything that way you want to run through something and then manipulate something um, and i have created crude versions of this i created very clever versions of this i created uh, supposedly generic versions and 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 i i think i'm not alone i think that Anybody out there who has dealt with NAV or Business Central customers have been in this situation where a customer will call you up and say, I, I, I need to make this change to my data on 5,000 items and I don't want to do this and uh, Excel is, is too slow or too weird or what, whatever. Please, Eric, make something for me so I can do this. And then I'll say, oh, no, sure, I'll, I'll create a report that will handle that. Uh, so the second time they call up and say, Eric, I need another report uh, that will do something. Um, and what I thought that maybe I should create a more generic app that could handle all these cases. Um, and if it's worth doing, it's probably worth overdoing. Uh, so let me show you where I'm at right now. So so right now this app is, is solely focused for one customer. That's me. So something that I can use to help me in those support cases where people are calling me up and say, hey, Eric, we need something. We need something. Um, but I would love you guys' input. Is this something that would actually be interesting to have? Uh, am I missing obvious cases that should be uh, working with the app, or am I totally out there and this is this is not how stuff are done anymore? Um, let me know that too. Um, anyway, let, let's enough talk. Let's actually take a look at where I am right now. So this is work in progress, so anything can blow up, uh, probably. Let's see. Here is a Business Central, uh, my Business Central, to be clear. And, well, as the title of the, the, the video said, that it's, it's the one field report, um, because that's how I named this in my mind for the last uh, many, many, many years. And... Well, the the text on 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 the box doesn't really matches the uh, content anymore because this is no longer a report. Um, this is a wizard, and um, every good wizard start with some explanation and saying blah blah blah. So when you're ready, hit start to go. The first thing we need to do is that we need to tell what table are we working in. So I'll work in table 18, do a lookup, um, and I'll work on field number 20. You can see that right now I'm not able to continue the wizard because I have not fulfilled whatever happens on this page of the wizard. Um, so I'll select field number 20, credit limit. I could, of course, do a lookup, but uh, hey, I know the field numbers, well, at least some of them. So now I'm able to continue. So we're working on the custom table. We're working on the credit limit field. So the next page is, you. I need to define the, the filter. So what customers do I want? Um, and maybe I want to set a filter on, on the name column. Maybe I want to do all the customers that starts with an A. I click continue and now it tells me to verify the data, meaning that what I have done is that I've added one or more filters on the customer and uh, it, the, the report now tells me that that results in two records. 
I look at those two and say, huh, that's actually not the ones I want. So let me go back, change the filter to, let's do something that has an, how about an E in it? Let's see what, what that gives us. Ah, so that gives us four customers. So maybe that's the one, the four, the, no, maybe it's not. So I can, you know, the interactive part here is that maybe we need to go back to the one with A's. So yeah, those those are the yeah the the two I want to change. So again, trying to support that that the customer saying oh it's all those entries that has this date or that account number or something, and they have done some filtering and Excel export, and they they know that it's seven hundred and forty two records. So I need to make sure that whatever I do, I do it on seven hundred and forty two records. Uh, so I can do this interactive here. So now I got the the records I need. And it also tells me the current value of the field I selected. So I can go click continue. And now we need to define what should the new value be. Uh, and if you reckon, some of you might recognize this box here. Uh, and uh, this is, the same box I use in my compiler based apps. So if you've seen the toolbox uh, app or if you've seen the, the compiler uh, videos, then you'll recognize this. If you haven't, then how about subscribing to the channel so you're, you're not missing all the great videos. Um, anyway, so what we have here is actually the ability to type in an expression. And in this case, we are looking for creating a, a decimal expression. And the decimal expression could be 40,000. That's a valid expression. So we can verify and see how will that look. Well, that's 40,000. Maybe our expression is 40,000 plus 123. Let's verify that again and say, okay, that's a 40,000 uh, and 123. Uh, we'll come back just in a moment and do some more fancy ones here. Um, but let's continue. So now we have defined our expression for the new value. So I click continue. So now I get a similar to the third screen uh, saying that, okay, these are the two records we have selected with the current value and the new value. So that looks pretty good. I can continue. And on, this is the last page that has the execute um, function. So now I specify if I want if I want validation or not, both on the field and on, on the record. I don't care about that right now. So I'll the execute and I'm sure we're done. Okay, so let's run the report again, which is still not a report, but uh, that's okay. Now we can see that we also have history of previous runs here. So I can go in, see, ah, you know what? We, on August 1st, late at night, um, we ran this. And we had these two records, and this was the old values, the new values. So we have a complete history of what we did. And we have the option of um, undoing this. So I can go say, oh, you know, that was a bad run. Let's undo that. So now we're undoing, undo complete. This has been undoed. Um, so if we go back in this easy way, just to do 18 uh, and, and 20, and we select field two with the A asterisk. And now we're back to the old values because we undo the change. Um, I find that pretty cool. Um, anyway, let, let me show you that the um, the expression thing is is also quite uh, quite powerful. So let me add. See so now we have all our customers here. Um, so let's say that we want to do you know. Typically, you know, you want to, hey, Eric, we need to add 5%. So how do we add 5%? Well, th this one knows rec. So so I can do red, rec, rec <laughs> uh, credit limit, LCY. Um, 
So now I would just, if I do verify here, well, based on the last value in, ah, oh, there's probably out of space here in the table, uh, 20,000, because that was the uh, credit limit on the, on the last record in the table. So this one is just kind of you no know, syntax checking, because what if I start writing crazy stuff here? And that one apparently what well, did matter, but I could let's write some other crazy stuff. See if this if I break it or not. Ah, there you go. So compiler error because we're trying to compile this little thing. Um, but let's say I want to do some calc here. So let's do something like um, how about zero point one times random 20. So verify new value. So this would be 30,000, but now we have random in, so 2,000. So now we are, we can, we, we're just randomizing our credit limit by making either smaller or bigger. Um, or maybe it's, it's, it's not 20, maybe it's only 15. So it's not as wide. I don't care. So we continue and we can see here that there, there's also a new value. Uh, of course, since we're using random, this will actually not be the true new values because when we're running it again, uh, random might have changed. So, but we can continue and run this. And then we let's, let's also actually go into the customer, take a look. Oh, there's some other app. That was from another video. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, let's go into the customer card. And we got a credit limit here. 15,150. And if we look at the on-field report history of the last run here, where we changed all five, we can see that this one was changed to this. Um, and the, the expression is not, um, now we just did it on a, on a decimal, but that could easily be, let's say we want to change something with name two and we're just going to do it for all. Um, and you can see I was already doing this. So there's some crazy stuff here. Uh, we don't care about that. So now we could do rec dot name two, uh, plus format today. Um, and it already had some, this is number eight. So maybe we need to add a space for, for this to be what we want. So, so, and continue. And then now we can see that the new value is uh, wider than we can see here, but, but we, we get string manipulation. Um, and um, anything, anything goes, well, not anything goes, but, but lots of stuff goes, meaning that as long as what you want to change in the field can be expressed in an expression. You're good. Uh, of course, you could start thinking. We could start thinking about events and how to hook into this. But uh, for me, this solves, I think, uh, like ninety-nine percent of the cases that I typically encounter. Uh, so, so I, I call that a win. Um, but I want to do a a video on some of the the things behind the scene in this app especially the way i'm i'm doing the uh, the wizard because this is uh very different from a normal business central wizard um and and a video is coming on that whether you like it or not because it's already in the making um but let me know what you think about this. Is the am I insane? Is, is the uh, is uh, is the fact that I'm going to the extreme edition of of something that's too trivial to even spend this much time on, uh, or what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And um, until next time, have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.